Bernie Goldberg and Bill O'Reilly are going to talk about health care here, but Bill is going to say something that is way over the line, even for him. I believe that they are, like a lot of other Americans, very ideologically disposed to giving health care to everybody. And that's their goal. It's almost like me. Let me, let me know. I support the drone strikes. OK, mm -hmm. so if somebody comes to me with evidence that civilians are being killed in the drone strikes, my rationalization is what are they doing living with the Taliban, the Al Qaeda guys? What are they right, doing right. around them? So they're dead. I'm not going to really lose a lot of sleep over it. He just admitted that he doesn't care when U.S. drone strikes kill civilians. That's unacceptable, man. Look, I'm all for free speech. You know, you guys know me. I'm an absolutist in that department. But he should be fired. He should be fired. That's not, that's not a defensible position. And look, the reason I say that is because flip the script for a second. Let's say uh, China had a base in Mississippi, right? And they're the world empire in this fu at this future date. And uh, they see some Christian terrorists, some abortion clinic bombers, uh, as part of a specific group. And they go, you know what? We're going to go after those terrorists because that's what they are. They did an abortion clinic bombing. So they go, they do drone strikes at, you know, the, the compound in Louisiana. And it just so happens that uh, the women and children of uh, the people in that far right group were there and they get killed. Would Bill O'Reilly react the same way? Of course not. He would lose it. Rightfully so in that scenario. Because civilian casualties are unacceptable in any case, in any case. Any rational human being would say that. But see, the thing is, Bill O'Reilly is a hypocrite, and he's an idiot. So he thinks that by definition, if we do it, it's right and it's just. So if you kill, you know, uh, Muhammad, right, or, or Akbar, or uh, Ahmed, the kid of somebody who maybe, maybe not was affiliated with the Taliban, if you kill the, the women and children associated with them, who cares? Who cares? They shouldn't, it's guilt by association. They shouldn't have known that guy. They shouldn't have been in the same room. Fuck them, it doesn't matter. But he wouldn't say that if it was somebody in the United States, would he? He would lose it. He'd say, you're terrorists! What kind of barbarians and Neanderthals and terrorists would do this? It's unacceptable. We never kill civilians. We are better than that. But look, he's, he's showing himself to be morally bankrupt. And remember, this is a guy who likes to think of himself as a Christian. <laughs> Which, uh, here's a question. Which civilians would Jesus say, yeah, rock and roll, kill away, no problem. And by the way, let's get the facts even more straight on this. Uh, what percentage of the drone strikes uh, are successful and kill uh, Al-Qaeda? 2%. There's a 98% failure rate with drone strikes. How many reports have we done? Over 2,000 dead civilians since we started doing it. We covered a story the other week. Uh, there was a U.S. drone strike that killed a grandma while she was picking fruit. Okay, unacceptable. Brave New Films did a compilation of all the children that uh, drone strikes have killed. We do uh, signature strikes, personality strikes, and double taps. The personality strikes are when we know who we're killing and we go after them. The signature strikes are, we don't know if we're killing the right people, we're going to kill anyway. It's just a militant aged male, which is something like between the ages of 16 and like 70 or something ridiculous. And then, by the way, the U.S. government flips the burden of proof and says, oh, you think the person was innocent? Great. So you have to, you have to disprove it after his death. So the default position is that he's guilty, and then you need to prove us that he's innocent, right? And then maybe we'll acknowledge it, maybe. And even then they don't. Look, and a double tap is when we strike, some, uh, strike somebody and then we go back around and kill the people who are helping them afterwards. The good Samaritans who are, you know, trying to bring people to a hospital or, or things of that nature. There are reports that we actually target the funerals of Taliban operatives. Now, look, some people might say, well, so what? Taliban operatives, who cares? But there are women and children and innocent villagers, people who just work as merchants or, uh, or farmers or whatever it is that, that go to these funerals. No, it's not okay, man. It's not okay. Killing civilians is killing civilians. It doesn't matter, oh, we meant well. Oh, is, that, is that an argument? Does that work in a court of law? Does that work according to the Geneva Conventions and the Nuremberg Tribunals? Please. We wouldn't accept that if somebody else says it. So why should they accept it if we say it? 
And people wonder, well, why do, the, why do, we hate, why do uh, people hate America? This is one of the reasons why right here, man. And also, uh, of course, this increased, increases recruiting for Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. This actually makes, uh, makes it worse. It, it has the exact opposite effect of what the Obama administration thinks it does and what the Bush administration thought it does. They go, oh no, we're eliminating a problem because we're killing terrorists. But no, when you kill civilians, what happens is other moderate people who are in Pakistan, Yemen, Somalia, Afghanistan, wherever, they go, well, look, I, I didn't care. I was neutral on the issue. I don't like the Taliban. But since you killed my family members, I'll go pick up arms and join the Taliban because I want revenge on the Americans. 